Marion Park can be a hopping part of town, especially on the death date of the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick. Jane McClure has liberated herself from the drunken chaos she lives near, leaving her 18-year-old cats at home to have their own party. Two volunteer overnight through Project Home at the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer. She hunts through Kowalski's on Grand for some lucky charms. Even though Project Home has been cracking down on sugary foods, she believes the homeless children deserve the cereal they want. So, she buys two pounds of the Malta meal version of Lucky Charms. She drives into the sunset, towards the church, excited to be part of the servicing community, gaining a deeper insight of a sliver of what it's like not to have a home. She is an evening host tonight. She will spend her night making snacks, playing games, and helping with homework. She will then be up with the sun at 5 a.m. to prepare breakfast and get kids on their way to school or childcare. Her home church is the one and only Hamlin Church, which cannot legally host Project Home. She serves on the Social Justice and Missions Committee and is also the co-chair of Hamlin Church Women. Jane comes from Clemmy, Iowa, a small town, and moved to Minnesota in 1980 to work for the Fairmont newspaper. Today, she edits the statewide paper for people with disabilities. Her partner is deceased, and she does not have children, so mission work remains a big part of her life. She signs in to begin her night at Project Home. The storage room is where she will make camp for the night. Project Home moves church to church, so like nomads, they are always prepared for the next location. This will be her cot for the night. Games, crafts, school supplies, blankets and quilts, shaving equipment, and soap are some of the necessary supplies for Project Home. Remnants of St. Patty's Day celebrations lie across the counter for the children. No Sugary Foods Project Home. Jane looks through more and more of the bins of supplies. Dishes are also an essential task of the night. These are the rooms in which the children will stay in for a warm night's sleep. Cardboard separates each room. Each one is marked with their individual artwork. The children love foosball. Jane reminisces on her days as an organ player. This St. Patty's Day is much more than drinking green beer for Jane McClure. And her story is told. Mm -hmm.